Alright, let's see. Is everything working fine? I think it is. I think everything's in working order. Supposedly. Oh, alright. Hello. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Man or machine and everything in between. To some Danganronpa V3. <coughs> I was supposed to stream last night. And I didn't. Oh my god, my back is fucking killing me. Alright. So, was supposed to stream last night. Totally didn't. Right? And I feel like I need to explain why. Two reasons. One, I woke up. And I was like, time to get to streaming. And then I went, oh hell no, I feel terrible. And I also still feel terrible tonight. I feel bad. Things might go bad tonight. If things go too bad tonight, I'm just gonna cancel the stream. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie about that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie about that. Why would I lie about it? So, if things go bad tonight, if I feel too bad, I'm in the stream ASAP. Um, but the other main reason as to why I didn't stream last night was because the planets aligned and for some wonderful reason, not even my whole street, but my whole neighborhood decided to have a party. And I'm not talking about a block party, no, I'm talking about the whole neighborhood. For some reason, they all decided to have a party. There were so many cars and so many people, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And I honestly don't know how things got like that. And I'm just like, hold up, guys. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you guys doing? Having a whole party in the neighborhood. Has everybody lost their goddamn mind? <laughs> so. That happened. So even if I could stream last night. I wouldn't have done it. Because it was too fucking loud. Like goddamn it. <laughs> so. Dang and Rob of V3. Where we last left off, Ryoma died. We got ate by piranhas. That was cool. It was a little suspicious. Suichi so looked in the tank. He said, Mmm, the murky water. And I said, Murky? Why is the water murky? Are the piranhas dirty? They live in the water. Alright. Let's get started, shall we? Also, I have my fan- my fan. Not my fan. I don't have a fan. What the hell am I saying? I have my air conditioner on in my background, so if that distracts anybody, then I apologize for that. It is hot. It is the summer. I, I have a small room. Things get hot real fast. Alright. So let's play some Danganronpa. This is gonna be- it's gonna be okay. Fun, maybe. Fun is fun the word. Fun might be the word. Guys, we gotta cancel the stream. Gameplay recording is not allowed. That's sad. That's very sad. That makes me sad. You should feel sad about it, too. Continue from where you left off. Chapter 2? Sure! That's a fun starting spot. Alright. <clears throat> For a second time at the Academy. <laughs> Just get all serious. For a second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. There's only three people? What? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain by hand. But what are we what are we gonna use to break it? Hey! Gunter! Keyboy! You're 
Hello, phone. I thought I had you on silent. What? I made two tweets that... Tweets? Not even tweets. They were replies that everybody seems to like today. So my entirety of today, my phone has just been going off. It's kind of distracting, actually. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to like those posts. They weren't that good. <laughs> but people like them. Going to Keyboy, you're up. Huh? Huh? What do you mean you're up? You're so dumb. Going to throw keyboard as hard keyboard? <laughs> throw keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Do not mock me! What are you calling a battering ram? Got it. Going to throw Kibo. Got it. Got it. Then I'll help too. Please wait. No, wait a second. You don't need to team up now. Wow. Piranhas are still in there, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> you could have killed them. <laughs> the sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and waters. Uh, waters. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. <laughs> Rip, Kibo. <laughs> They could have killed him. Why'd they do that? I get he's a robot, but, you know, piranhas can bite. That shit, that's crazy. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Investigate what? A pile of bones? <laughs> um. We all saw it. He's dead. I've gathered Ryoma's bodies and belongings in one place. That's pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty drastic. Compared to, like, all the other games. <laughs> At least there was a body. <laughs> right? He got... He got fully devoured. <laughs> like, god damn it. Kibo looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. Oh, that's why he's depressed. Not the dead friend that, that's on the floor currently. Nothing but a pile of bones, you know? He's been reduced... <laughs> he's been reduced such that he can carry in one... Wait, what? He can be carried in one hand. Now, fleeting and fragile life is... Going to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they full. Ugh. Ew. Today, Ryoma is fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. All right, Mew. Oh my. Don't say such a thing. Himiko? Himiko, you all right? Is this... This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean that... Of course it wasn't an accident! He was... I'm surprised they didn't already eat him when he was inside the fucking tank with the piranhas already. They, they waited till... The piranhas waited until they were released? Wasn't he in there already? That's what I find confusing. Wouldn't he already be dead? <laughs> Robots get depressed. Robots are humans too. What are you, robophobic? <laughs> robophobic. This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game started again? How could this happen? We swore to each other. <sighs> Fuck you, Kokichi. We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. So that was all just a lie? You guys are liars! All you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. That's a lie. Unacceptable. Your disingenuous tears mark you as a liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out. You got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. Hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> he said, no, I'm not Robophobic. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it feeling? How it feels now that you got a second murder victim on your hands? Huh? You're almost transparent? Has my X-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Father! <laughs> Father! Father, you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. All right. Finally, I've been waiting for a killing to get started up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. That's nice. 
You're raring to go, Mono, who you are? Monosuke. You should at least remember your own kid's name. Monofi, are you okay? Five. Four. Hmm? Are you counting? Monofi, why are you counting? Because three, I'm seriously two, gonna puke one. Ah, she puked. You stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass. Listen up. We're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly, capiche? So also to keep my company. Also to keep me company. The new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Yes. Shut up, you failure. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's your own dad. What? <laughs> Me too. Yoo-hoo! Hey, this conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Cause says so. That we need to start investigating or something? Alright! Alright! I get the culprit this time for sure. I'm speechless around Kokichi. Super dang it too. Uh, uh, can't even fucking read. I'm having a hard time reading tonight. I'm having a hard time doing anything tonight, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Ding Rampa 2, we find the mono. Monokuma Plush is first one with the swarm suit. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm super Ding Rampa 2, like when. You mean. What? <laughs> you are super Ding Rampa 2? You like super Ding Rampa 2? Is that what you mean? I'm a little confused at that wording. I'm not gonna lie. Hurry up and give us the thing. You mean the Monokuma file? Right. I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it with your heart's delight. Pops! Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh? Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it? Let's use this Monokuma file. Mono. Uh, mono cub. Monokuma file to start a funeral service business. You know, how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death. And that's that. If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst death will get a giggle out of the attendees. Ooh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to make it awkward. Well, well Pops, what do you think? So You're so freaking, freaking cute. cute. Huh? huh? Cute. <sighs> the way you... What the fuck did Monokuma just say? <laughs> he said something and I didn't hear him. <laughs> the way you pass out the files is just so cute. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> Pops is gonna lick me all- mm, Don't like that wording. Hmm? Huh? Father showering Monosuke with all his love. Mm. You think maybe Monosuke is right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. So so long. Farewell. Aww, why are they so sad? <laughs> so then. In any event, let us begin the investigation. But investigation? So it's really gonna start again. Actually. Can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma? Someone among us? Oh, among us? Happened. Where? <laughs> no one. <laughs> among us. No more. Going to no one to investigate friends. No one to suspect friends. Then? Then don't do it. I'm not gonna investigate either. Maki, I love you, but now's not the time to be amazing. Huh? Huh? Because. You'll be fine if you're short- We'll be fine if you're a shorter person. And I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Maki! <laughs> Why'd you say it like that, Suichi? Maki! <laughs> Wait, Maki. I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The fuck's that bitch problem? She's pr she's seriously not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it, and I suppose she isn't wrong. You're not wrong, but... But why would she say that now? She participated in R Rentaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all her day in her lab. What's she doing in there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Always messing around. I'm seriously pissed we gotta do this. 
but it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because Yonta and I have worked especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You right? Oh yes, you're right. <laughs> but we don't need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magic girl's sh can't read. Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Mm. But... But... She's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah. Right? But then again, she made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey! Degenerate male! Gee, shut up already. How dare you toy Himiko's pure heart? You got me! You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, shut up! Himiko would never do something like that. I... I know her best. Right, Himiko? No. <laughs> no. No, you don't. <laughs> this is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? Because... If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit's killed. It's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Why? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape, because it was my magic. <laughs> how long is that donkey lip midget gonna... Wow. She said it, not me. <laughs> gonna keep saying that. Um... Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's, pl it's plain to see we need your help. Oh, making her mad. Don't make her mad, she'll throw a fireball at you. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. Cause I'm a mate. There's no trick to my magic. Cause it's magic. Seriously? Come How on. long are you gonna keep this bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're... That's enough! If Himiko said it's magic, then it's magic. I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if. To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all our lives. Because we're risking our lives in this class trial. Oh. Suichi. Hey, Suichi, got a sec? Huh? What's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Alright! You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? You know... I'm more of a sign... What? I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. Kaito. What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> what? I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so this thinking and like hypothesis and shit don't, it don't work for me. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momoda, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But... But... I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean... So... Leave it to me! I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Huh? Got it. Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. Kaito making me a sidekick like this? Could it be... Love? <laughs> I'm scared. I tried hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. He's trying to help me? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim was Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. 
The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed. Oh. Okay. Still doesn't answer. Still doesn't answer why he wasn't already eaten while he was in the tank. Maybe. Maybe somehow his body was kept safe so that when the magic happened. Well, when the magic. When the um, magic act happened, then his. Uh, then his body would um, be dropped in there. He died due to drowning. Okay, that's fucking terrifying. Holy shit. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Come on, man. What? There's less written here than before. I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here as well. Because that's important. Because that's important. Because that's important. <laughs> hmm. Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rontaro's time of death, correct? The victim's Rontaro Amami. Amami? He can be my mommy. Makes no sense. Amami, it doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The body was discovered in the library. Estimate time of death, 9-10. The victim was subject to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Back of his fucking dome piece. Resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death, no other injuries were detected. But... But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that he would give us any information that would be revealed- that will help reveal the culprit. But... Thinking about it that way, it implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well done. Hey, there you go. I knew I picked up a good psychic. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. You're almost cause of death. Exactly. It says drowning, but if that's the case, you might be able to unravel the case from there. Unravel? I like that opening. It's from Tokyo Ghoul. Monokuma File 2 has been added to your monopoly. Alright! All right. Now that we're done with Monokuma File, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new psychic is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead to the culprit. It's pretty commanding, as I expected. Alright. So... What we need... Hell. I was going to say what we need are alibis, but everyone has a pretty solid alibi, and time of death is important, and since he died due to drowning, alibis in this case wouldn't really work unless we knew the time of death. Hmm. Alright. So, Himiko. Sorry, gonna need some information from you. The magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Himiko! Don't worry, everyone is smiling. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't think any of us can smile right now. Um, Himiko, if it's alright, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're gonna solve this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. Come on, man. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop it. No. Stop it. <laughs> That's That probably has to be my favorite voice line in this game, I think. It's adorable. Himiko, don't die! <laughs> You're too adorable to die. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. But... I'll protect you! Okay, your time's up. The Q&A session is now over. Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than the security at idol events. Alright. Well, maybe Angie would know something. Oh, that's right. We need to ask Angie about the stage. Angie! <laughs> hey, Angie. I wanted to ask you a question about the stage. I... 
Yep, I was in charge of all the art. I even built, I even built the paint. Wait, what? I even built and painted the stage. I don't yeah. even know why, why it started there. Did you know anything about Himiko's trick? How'd it work, perhaps? No. Nope. nope. I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, um... By the way, you ask other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. Yep. We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Me and Kibo helped with that. The tank, tank had a pulley. But because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Grumi to sew the curtains because I hate sewing. Thanks, be to So Atua. basically, it's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Ah. No, it's because of all of us. I don't think that's what we're worried about in that in that sentence. She called it a success. It's not a success. Was it really a success? Come on, uh, guys. Um... By the way, were the were the piranhas your idea? Because. Oh, on its wait, what? On its own, the underwater escape act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would be, I thought it would make more of a show exciting. I can't even fucking read. What's wrong with me? Some days I have my good days. Some days I have my bad days. Today, it's definitely a bad day. I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we use piranhas. Atua has spoken. That's what Atua told me. Did Atua also tell you to kill people? So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um. And about the piranha tank and the timer, those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course. Yep. According to the piranha, wait, what? According to the piranha tank manual, it's synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will open automatically. I see. That means most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? And right when we finish the prep work, and we're about to take a break. Gonto captured us and we couldn't rehearse at all. Jeez. When Gonto, <laughs> when Gonto let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. Oh yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. You can't enter the gym at nighttime. <laughs> Review the rules and regulations. I'm sorry, I just want to check something. Uh, da -da 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 -da, class trial, the loan be executed, all the main, re enter the outside world, killing game, blah blah. Night time, 10 p.m., dining hall and gymnasium are off limits. Those are the only two places off limits. Hmm. What is the importance of that? Okay. Sorry, I'm just, I'm thinking like 50 miles ahead. What is the importance of those two places? Anyways, let's not worry about that now. Let's worry about that when we figure out who the mastermind is. Oh yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. So we decided to come to the gym today before the morning announcement. Thank you. Emiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. I was so revealed revealed. I was so relieved <laughs> the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. <gasps> What's up, Sweetie? Are you worried because this... Wait, hold up. Ryoma was never captured, right? Ugh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Who was captured by Gonta? Because that works as an alibi. Because we, because like after the whole thing with Gonta, we all basically just went to bed, right? Because it was already like super late at night. Nighttime announcement played, it was what, 11 p.m. at the time? Ooh. 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 I'm thinking too far ahead. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Did I just. Uh. <laughs> oh god. What's up, Suichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? 
Nothing to worry about. No, no. Nothing can escape it to his sight, not even the culprit. Yeah. Uh, to his truly a divine force, you look like a psychopath. <laughs> to his truly a divine force to be reckoned with. And you started to sound more and more creepy. That's how you start a cult. That's how you start a cult. All right, so the people who can't be the killer, if I'm going with my current way of thinking, it would have to be, um, Tenko was caught, right? Tenko was caught. Angie and Himiko was caught. Kokichi left. So he's a suspect. Oh, hey, Mango. Mongo? Mango? I can't even see. I don't got my glasses on. Mongo. That's how you pronounce it. Sussy Mongo. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Kaito, was he ever caught by Gonta? Kibo can't be the culprit. Ooh. I'm thinking too far ahead. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, then we just got to ask the people who helped out, right? Well, I guess Kaito pretty much said all we need to know. I like Kibo. Well, you know Kibo. Although there are many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is when was Ryoma murdered? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. Culper knew how Himiko trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. In other words, everyone watched the show. Isn't it suspicious? But did, did I just did I even read that correctly? <laughs> I just had like a I just had like a stroke. <laughs> I don't even know if I read that correctly. Kaito, I didn't even remember what the fuck just happened. Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's no. But I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a, I forgot a promise. So I was just eating breakfast. Of course. Got it. I'm not suspicious. Oh, dear. I don't understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. Oh my god. Do I want to become famous? Yeah. I'll definitely buy viewers at bigfollows.com. Get the biggest of follows. What? It's a bot. It's a bot that randomly appears from time to time in the chat. It's fucking it's terrible. At this point, at this point, sometimes I'm not even sure if it's a bot or if it's just someone just trolling. Like, anyone can just copy and paste that message and just go in and put it there. <laughs> All right. Big follows. Everybody go buy your big follows at bigfollows.com. Um Didn't Mew help out at the stage? Hey! Hey. What? I'm having a I'm having a hard time. Flynn? <laughs> Flynn what? There's something I need to tell something I need to tell you. That's not a very polite way of asking someone for something. You know. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Guns had captured you guys last night. What the hell was that about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh yeah, tell me too. I was also running. Uh, I was also running, so I still don't know what went on. I didn't you escape from Gonta. She's not strong enough to fight him. She invented this crazy machine. It's called a gun. You point and you shoot. Why you? Chop chop, you slimy shit. Uh um. Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. Oh wait, no, fucking Gonta said he went to go capture Mew and he's like, I couldn't do it. Her, uh, she had a way of convincing me. Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured was Kibo, Kyo, Kyo was there, Samugi, Tenko, and me. So you guys, in my, in my theory, you guys couldn't be the culprit. Miko and Angie were brought in later. Still couldn't be the culprit as long as you came in before 11 p.m. Huh? From the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room after around 9 p.m. So that must have been brought in. Uh, so they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. If I remember correctly. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime around 11 p.m. Okay, see so there we go. I see. So from 9 to 11 p.m., everyone had their alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Kurumi, Maki, and Ryoma. 
to see if you learn what an alibi is, thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? Why? By the way, Mew, how are you able to get away from Gonta? What? Oh, well, uh, eh. Um. I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> see, I thought maybe Gonta would just be like, he has a crush on Mew, and he's like, I can't do it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say she went. She flashed him, but she flashed him, didn't she? Wait. Hey, what's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> All right. She trying to laugh it off? Come on, man. Sweetie, let's just leave her be. Listen to her. <laughs> Listening to her will just tire you out. You're right. <laughs> Poor Himiko is accused. She's accused, but she can't be the culprit. So I already whittled it down to, what, four people? <laughs> like, damn. Alright, well, let's check the body, I guess. That's a large water tank from the escape... Wait, handcuffs? Ooh. So Ryoma was cuffed, right? Was Ryoma cuffed? I mean, it would make sense, right? Ah, shit, I thought it would show a picture. Damn it. It's a large it's a large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But... Well, if we had left Ryomo's body in there, we wouldn't be able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. And it would have been way dangerous. Fucking piranhas in there, jackass. That was a lot of... It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Because <laughs> we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Handcuffs. Why are why are there handcuffs here? It's still locked. There's small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraped against something hard or sharp. Huh? What are those handcuffs? I mean, could a piranha tooth scrape handcuffs? Probably not, right? I mean, probably not, but at the same time, they did just eat him until he was a skeleton. So whether those scratches were there from the beginning or not, would that make any difference? Alright, what are those handcuffs? Why are they in the tank? Uh, but I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where'd they come from? If there weren't any warehouse, another place that might have handcuffs is... Could it be... He's a prisoner. Your most lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro. But also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. The ultimate prisoner. <laughs> for some reason, I would imagine Mew to have handcuffs for no reason. His belongings, what he had on his person. Ooh, what the hell is that? Mew's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. Oh. It's a key to his room. That's it. If we use the key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. What's in his room? Remember The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Do you think Ryoma was killed because of the video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. <laughs> Mew says kaka. Although, he might, have, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point in thinking about that now. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what he was. What the heck is this? Is that really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, okay. I'm certain of it. Remember. He was handcuffed. Okay. Everyone watched the show witness. I mean, 
he was handcuffed, right? And then he didn't put up any sign of a struggle because he was already dead. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Damn. I can't believe he died such a gruesome way. Well. The water filled with blood so fast. He didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But the skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. Jeez. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. Yeah, the last conversation I had with the guy, he was like, you know what, I was being uncool, I don't actually want to die, I just don't have anything to live for. No one wasn't trying to die, he said as much. He was jealous of us who wanted to live. Huh? What do you mean by jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us, that's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do, so that he can have the reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. Then he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food and your friends? Damn, Damn it. Alright. I don't know why that vent looks out of place to me. It just did. Talk with Kyo? I'm still investigating things here. Guess I gotta check the piranhas. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gunta said he picked he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. Can't believe Gonto would do that with his bare hands. Wait. Yeah, yes I can. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, yeah, yes I can. When I think that Ryoma is inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? Yeah, who the fuck eats piranhas? <laughs> Only strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul, so that he may enter out to his kingdom. Come on, man. Can he really go there looking like this? But, but... Those primers sure were a, a miraculous... Mm. Can't read. A miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua... I feel like that's not even the word. Anyways, maybe Atua was behind this video, too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed they right as the show started. I feel like there's no more piranha. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday. What? More piranhas today than yesterday. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking right now. Are you. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Angie, you may just may have just stumbled onto something here. There are more piranhas today than there was yesterday. Are you telling me that would totally make sense? That would make so much fucking sense. Hmm. Wait a minute, then where would the blood come from? Alright, so let's say Ryoma was both killed, he was drowned, and then he was eaten by the piranhas, recorded, and then during the magic act, a projection played, right? Or a video played, seeming that it was in real time, tricking us all, of course. But he was already a bag of bones. Hmm. But where would the blood come from? How would you conceal the blood from, like, the live tank of piranhas? Oh. Whatever, I don't have that. I don't have enough information to go on with this, but thank you, Andre. Jesus. No. More piranhas. Huh? What? Did they multiply overnight? There's no way that I could repro no way they can re eh, reproduce that fast. But, but But compared to yesterday, the piranhas looked super crammed into the tank. So they looked more crammed together. Dear, dear. 
The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Oh my! But anyways, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a surprise! Super, 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 super crammed. Ugh. Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. In the judgment, you're gonna know why there's more piranhas. Ooh. Okay. Cram piranhas. I mean, I would just assume there was more piranhas to already hide the bones if I'm going with the logic that Ryoma was already eaten by piranhas and recorded. Glass panel. Wait, glass panel? This could be what they projected it onto. There's a, there's a square panel of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. That's why exactly... What exactly is this pain? Pain, pan, pain. Glass pain. <clears throat> Alright, that's all I wanted to see around a tank. So... Talk to Kyo. However. Never would have imagined such a cruel murder weapon. A weapon? What? <laughs> Word's not even there, and I said it. I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. <laughs> Why did the culprit commit his barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think it was the sole mur- eh. Can't read tonight. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And the reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it. If that's true, did Himiko tell someone- who thinks the trick is actually magic? Well then. Since the show was used. Wait, what? Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyways. Follow Kyo backstage. Show me a movie projector. Show me a movie project uh what? What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when they broke the tank. The floor around is completely dry. Perhaps someone... Alright. Maybe that's how the trick works, right? Why would the trick... Wait, no. I wouldn't say that's how the trick works. Because they use a curtain to cover it up. Anyways, that's probably where Himiko came out. Perhaps someone who was who was wet was here. That's doing something. True. Changing wet clothes. But, but how would you get from the water tank to the space behind the staircase? Be... Maybe a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. Alright, what about the rope? This is a pretty long rope. What was it used for? Hmm. I estimate it's roughly around 65 feet in length. You can tell just by looking at it. But of course. I'm well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their <laughs> where their use was Why did why does that feel weird to say? Where their use was commonplace. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. What? <laughs> what? Kyo? What the hell? Also, Kyo, why does the top of your hat looks like a Smash Bros. symbol? Anyways! <laughs> I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. Anyways, what's this rope? Can it be related to the case? He's like, all the women asked me to stay. Something about their husbands being away for work. I don't know. Alright. Alright. Staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting closely, I can see some places on the side where they're wet. It might have something to do with the puddle next to it. What about you, Kaito? Is there something here? No, let's decide that after we search it. Investigate anything that stands out. There's nothing strange about it from behind, other than the large size. It's a normal tank. I see. 
All sides of the tank seem to be made of special type of glass. So, you know, hidden doors. Very mysterious. I wondered if Himiko escaped from the tank. That's right. Well, if we figured it out easily, it wouldn't have been magic trick. However, I believe that if we figured out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. And that is true. There's a high probability that they used the same route to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of the tank. I investigated just about everything to do with the stage. What? I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, so... hey, how long are you gonna investigate here? We still gotta find the culprit, you know. Come on, let's go. Kaito! Oh, wait, Kaito. Should investigate the state. From the top. Definitely wanna take a look at this piranha tank. When I stood at the stage and looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though as it doesn't look as though it has a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through. And only the front side of the glass, the other sides are made of wood. Okay. The piranha tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Hey, so Oh yeah! The tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ah. Hey Kaido, you helped carry special yeah. You help carry supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work. But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from here. You know It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It could have could have could have been easy to lift. That is. Seems this is where the lightning can't read. What is good with me tonight? What is good with me tonight? Needs to go to three places more when you finish the gym. Okay. Well, yeah, I can think of three places right off the top of my head. Um, we need to question Maki. That's one. Definitely need to head to Ryoma's lab, right? Either Ryoma's lab or Himiko's lab, and then definitely need to head to Ryoma's room. It seems this is where the light. <clears throat> seems where the lighting batten. I can't. What? The lighting batten for the gym is attached. What the fuck is a lighting batten? What's a bat? Is that... What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be honest. Ah, oh. hey, Kurumi. It seems as if... The control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the baton. Baton? What? what the fuck is a bat? I probably know what it is, I just don't know what it's... That it was ever called a bat. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, and then raised it again. Hmm. Hmm. I never knew lighting battens were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. That is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it's probably quite sturdy. Oh, so a baton's just like a pulley system? Uh, the other place is the pool. The other place is the pool. All right, let's not give let's not give too much info, okay? <laughs> Thank you though, I appreciate it. All right, Karimi, tell me what you know. Hey, you were helping set up the show, right, Karimi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consists of sewing the banner and curtains, so I do not know the details of her trick. Well, I see. This is the timer that was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Is that everything here? Top of the glass, no. Release the steps. Alright! My first command, my new psychic is let's get everything Okay, yeah, yeah, you said that already. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Yeah, but ah. it's too high to, up there to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high, even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank? Yeah. That's right. There's a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. 
Had to quickly head it off to head off the stage. We turned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so do I prefer Kaede? Uh, do I prefer Kaede or Suichi? I prefer so far. Well, I mean, it would. In my mind, I want to say I wish. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's kind of an unfair thing, right? To balance them because Suichi's going to have more time to have like character development and stuff like that. And Kaede really didn't have that much time. Um, but just from pure demeanor and stuff like that, I think Suichi's more interesting, right? Because we're the ultimate detective. Instead of having, instead of having yet another character who's just like a normal person, because Makoto, like Makoto was the ultimate lucky student, right? But his luck was like random, came in random moments. So other than that, he was pretty much just a normal dude, right? And then Hajime, he's a normal dude. And then Makoto's sister, she's a normal chick, <laughs> right? So it's fun to have like a character who's kind of like already has the necessary tools to deal with this. Also, it's nice to see the th his thinking process rather than rather than like just the normal people going, "Oh yeah, that's kind of weird," and then having someone else explain it to them later. Because that happens a lot. <laughs> that happens a lot in Danganronpa One and Two. Where a character goes, yeah, I picked up on that, but someone else still has to explain it to them. But you know, shouldn't the psychic be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain, oh, the window is open. Like, this is something, like, what what Suichi's doing right now, this is straight up something that, uh, that Makoto or Hajime wouldn't even pick up on. This is something that, uh, what's her name? Kyoko would tell Makoto to check out, then Makoto would check it out. Or, uh, Chiaki would be like, hey, don't you think that's weird? Go look at that. So it's nice to see that the protagonist is taking the initiative this time around. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Culprit may have gone in and out through the window. So what's on the other side of the window? Okay. I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. Remember when we went to the pool and I looked at the window and I said, that's going to be used for something later. <laughs> All right, let's I had check a gut feeling. The culprit probably went through there. All right. Oh wait, what is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. What kind of marks? Marks on the window frame. Okay, the window frame had distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. They look. <sighs> My initial thought is maybe the handcuffs, but they. Those marks look too thick to be handcuff markings, right? Might be related to the case. Should remember it. Hmm. Now I'm red. <laughs> Where's my red color? What do you mean by red color? What are you talking about? Climb down from the ladders at stage. Hey! Done investigating the window? Then I'll go put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thanks, Kaido. Jeez. Shouldn't the psychic be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I investigated everything I wanted to see on stage. Mm -hmm. We're all done here, then let's go. Okay. Alright. Oh, the name color. Yeah. It's red for you. For me, it's orange. <laughs> it's like orange is red for me. It's not pure orange. Uh, are we done in here? No. Who else helped out with the stage? Hmm. I guess, I guess we can just talk to, you know, the few that we have left. Kokichi, talk to me. 
I'm glad Himiko made the game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. Right. Time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. Alright, you're useless. Smoogie. Like Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how we almost killed. But with that, uh, but with that, um, bleh, can't read. But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Oh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed vengeance on him? And he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah. Or something like that. It probably happened before. Yeah. Hmm. Gonta? How can this be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? Yeah. When Piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into tank, then Gonta could have helped Ryoma, but Gonta got scared. Too scared to do anything. Gonta, idiot! Sorry, Gonta. Really sorry. Come oh. on, man. Man. A man shouldn't apologize so easy. Shut the hell up, Kaito. <laughs> what? And even if you had jumped in, they would have eaten you too. That's true. I don't know, man. That man's got thick hide like a fucking bull. <laughs> It'll take them quite some time. And from what I've read in the Monokuma file, they couldn't have saved them anyways, Gonta. Huh? Really? Does that say that in the Monokuma file? You know... I already read the Monokuma file, yeah? Gonta, not no, smart. Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helped. Dumbass. Wow, Kaito! <laughs> he goes, Gonta's not smart, and Kaito just goes, Dumbass? The fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? If you got time to apologize, you got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Huh? Information only Gonta know. Remember. Remember during the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm. Yeah, because Gonta worried about Himiko. Could it be? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No? Gonta see no one in the tank. Gonta kind of surprised. Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himiko get eaten by piranhas. Huh? But you know. But when the when the piranhas were dropped and the curtains opened, Ryoma was in the tank, right? I'm telling you, he was already in there with the piranhas, dead and probably a pile of bones already. Um. Yeah, that's right. So. Then when did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see when Ryoma. Ah, God damn it. When did Ryoma get in there? He didn't see it happen? Oh, I'm going to don't know. Everyone see Ryoma and Tank when Piranhas drop in after that. Sorry. Sorry, Gonta should have watched Tank better. Dumbass. <laughs> My dream is <laughs> dream name is what? How the fuck do you pronounce that? Oh, <laughs> Gonta fan number one. Okay. It took me a moment, I looked at it, I was like, what? Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um, yeah, you're right. You know, but this is a problem. I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important, be an important point in the case. <laughs> All right, Gonta. Thanks. I believe we investigate everything we need to know for now. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? No. Can't say, f uh, can't say for certain yet. There's other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You don't know? I never thought detective work could be such work. So, where else do we? What else do we got to investigate? That's... First, the pool. Next, the gym. You're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find find out which mode of video he had. Then I went to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro Lab. I deduced that the handcuffs were found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Ah. Last of all, to the Ultimate Magician's Lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So we got to so we st damn it. So we still got to do a lot. Of, oh, we still got a lot to do then. I can't read. I cannot read tonight. Good luck, Suichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Nah, you're the muscle, man. 
there a, is there a right response to that? Alright, well, let's head out. Fast travel? <laughs> I was about to walk there. I can fast travel. Okay, well. Hmm, Samugi and fucking. And what's his name? Kokichi. What the hell are you two hanging out? What the hell are you two doing hanging out with each other? I gotta see this. Why is there a fire? So, this is Himiko's research lab. What are we gonna investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used at her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know, well, you say that, but what if it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? That's... Well, that would be a problem. But it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. Why are you burning shit in here? What? Oh, it's the cauldron. Never mind. Samugi was standing in front of the cauldron and I just saw a fire in a box and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I hate Kokichi, not gonna say why because of spoiler. I mean, I hate Kokichi too, he's an asshole. <laughs> it's more than enough. Alright. I'm just looking around seeing if there's anything else important, I don't think there is. Alright, Kokichi. What? I did not mean to look at that. Shuichi. Hey, Suichi, you wanna ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you wanna know. You aren't. And you are my favorite, after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey! I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonzo yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off-limits during the nighttime, so Ryomo was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, since everyone was doing their own thing. Hey! Not us. We have alibis. Besides Kaito. Kaito don't got an alibi. You don't got no alibi. <laughs> what are we gonna do then? Um... It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Suichi Gon wait what? Take a moment. <laughs> After you gain consciousness, Suichi, going to brought Himiko and Angie. That was about five minutes before nine. Right after that, I left Gonto's lab and headed towards the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour, in the start of night time, but something happened. Huh? Something happened. Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonto's lab, so it was right around nine. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Started making trouble in the neighborhood. And I got a one little fight, and then my mom got scared. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can't you believe that? She also told me I had to go live with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. It's crazy. I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? If I remember correctly, didn't you ask Kurumi to be your mom earlier? <laughs> That's so mean. She just kept talking, and then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. So she still has no alibi for 11? Huh? A whole hour? <laughs> well, only the first half hour was the lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Her conversation's not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. Come on, Miss Maid, catch me if you can. That is. Is that a request? So that means. <laughs> is that a. a quest? <laughs> Her whole demeanor changes. Her fucking eyes glow red like a demon. And then I guess Kirmi decided to take Tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she caught me a little before 10. I'm disappointed. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So did your alibi- So do your alibi still hold up? Even when she was chasing you around? 
Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, that should hold up. Yeah, but only till 10. We were there till 11. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Mikuru. That's only an hour. <laughs> what about the other fucking couple of hours? Hmm. Wait. That still doesn't make sense, right? Because Ryoma was found in the, uh... Was found in, you know, was found. I'm assuming his body was stored in the gym. Or maybe the pool. Huh. Let's say that, let's say that somehow she didn't store his body in the gym before nighttime and she needed a place to hide it. The pool is still, you can still access the pool at night, you just can't swim. Hmm. Okay. After crewmate let me go, I finally went to the dorm and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to Gonto's lab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Ah. Oh yeah, I did see something. I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Huh? Something odd. Hmm. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. Must have been Mew. Must have been Mew. What the hell was Mew doing? It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walking around for a bit. I wonder who it was. A girl in her underwear. What the hell is he talking about? By the way. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gonti yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you? What were you doing? Uh, okay. I was running around the whole time. I hid in the bathrooms. Bathrooms all over the school. Oh, my bad. Bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Mm. My bad. <laughs> I thought he was, like, doubling down on bathrooms. He's like, I went in the bathroom. <laughs> I see. Okay. Samugi, why are you here? Hmm. What are you doing here, Samugi? Um. Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but... I'm plain... But it's plain to see that I'm investigating. Uh, okay. Is that so? Hey, so... So did you finally find any clues? Uh. Still thinking about that. Hmm. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. No. No, in fact, I still haven't found anything. <sighs> then get to it. Look around. <clears throat> Looking around is how you find clues. But I think leaving the guy alone is just plain bad. Smokey gave Kokichi a meanful look. Hey. So I decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. All right. Oh, shit. Oh. I didn't even see that. There's a huge water tank. It looks like one that was used in Himiko's show. So... Looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was backup. That's what Himiko told me and Kiba when we carried the tank out there. Then... Then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn the secrets of the trick. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or mechanism. Hmm. What's this? There's this... <clears throat> There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. But why open up there? Wait, perhaps it isn't random. This segment had to open up here. You lost me on that one, Suichi. You lost me on that. Okay. So, where else is it we have to go? Have to go to the dorms, right? Gonna make a mad dash for it. Okay, Ryoma's room. Ryoma's room. Ryoma's room. Ryoma's room. Here we go. I see no motive video. This is Ryoma's room, huh? So where's his video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe he put it in his bookcase? Impossible. We already looked at his belongings. Someone else already has his video. 
Back to open all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. That's weird, I can't find it anywhere. You're right. I see. So we can't find it. That's alright. That's a clue itself. That means whoever has it, it's likely our suspect. Huh? Our suspect, my bad, our culprit. My bad. Hey! What do you mean? You see, if we sup if we suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high probability that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. That's true. Okay. And the video is not in the room, which means... It. So it's just like we thought. The video was the motive. Okay. Yes. Wait, what? I'm like, my brain's getting scattered because it's like, the motive video was the motive. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> the hell did you just say to me? But it makes sense. Yes, that's the best explanation I can think of. That's my sidekick. All right. That's just what I expected from the top psychic. Man, your grandparents are fucking dead, bro. <laughs> Jesus, I forgot about that. Shuichi. What's the matter, Suichi? No. It's nothing. So... By the way, I was thinking. I mean, maybe we all should watch those motive videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They show the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should watch them. Without looking away from the truth. I mean... At the time, I agreed with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have watched them together. Uh, um, watched them together. Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos. Share everybody's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself. It'd be possible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? Oh. That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Huh? Huh? Hey! Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? You think the same way? Nah. No. <laughs> That's not what he wanted. He could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he didn't want us to cooperate, but there's no way for us to know. <sighs> He'd never tell us. That's true. It's possible to know what Kokishi's thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. I suppose he could be a good guy. I suppose he might survive till the end of the game. He's our Byakuya slash Fukuhi uh, Fuyuhiko of the game. It's definitely what he is. You always gotta have one of those characters. Alright. Um... Where are we going? Pool, pool. That's where we're going. I'm surprised that the casino hasn't had much of a time to shine. It's such a beautiful looking place, perfect for a murder. Alright, what the hell is that? Bits of fabric. Inner tube. There's an inner tube floating in the pool. Looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess, some idiot didn't clean up after themselves. Rising cider sign! Don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. Makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. You know, Mono Dam might be on to something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid idiots. We're not here to play. We're here to smack those bastards into the pits of hell. We're the Mono Cubs, the meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Dumbass. If you don't, if you don't get it, I'll throw you into the pool myself. <laughs> Onosuke, please stop. Can't we all just get along? What? You saying that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Mono Kid? Oh shit. <laughs> He's not playing around. He's like, I'm not gonna answer that. I'm not gonna answer that. You already know the answer to that. I'm not incriminating myself. So then, it was one of us that put the inner tubes there, not the Mono Cubs. Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube 
probably isn't related to the case. I don't know, given the rope, it probably is. It's related to the case. If it were just for playing around, then. Why is there a rope tied to it? Exactly. That's intriguing. What? Add it to the fucking file! <laughs> Don't sit there and go like, it's not, it's not part of the case. Huh? Something else floating in the pool. Hmm. Looks like a little piece of fabric. Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to worry about. You know... We're looking for the culprit. <clears throat> Sorry. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Okay. Yeah, but... Perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. Black piece of fabric. Add it to the fucking file! It's intriguing. Is it attached to anything? Where does that rope lead? It doesn't look like a normal pool. Okay, well, check the window. You can see the gym window over there. The window we investigated from the top of the stage in the gym. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it if it was just a ladder. Uh, okay. I agree. The ladder only barely reaches the window, and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been... That's where the rope comes in hand. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. Hmm. Is there like a support around here? To kind of like, you kind of like use the inner tube and rope as a police system for Ryoma's body? Is this, is this bar right here? Part of the window? Hmm. How would that work? I wonder. Still things in here. X-ray vision, go. This large diving board looks like something you'll find in a resort. Nothing about it has changed. Okay, there's that and there's the door. This pool equipment shed. Take a look inside just in case. What's this? An electric air pump. Well, that would be used for the inner tube. I see. You'd easily fill a large inner tube with this. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. You know, we can't stay here forever. Let's go investigate other spots. We don't have time to be lazy around. Isn't that right, Psychic? You're right. Yeah, you're right. The fuck? How are you gonna tell me to go somewhere else when there's still shit here? Okay. There's the pool entrance, and then there's the rules, of course. Mm hmm, nothing different. Wait, what? What's going on? No jumping into the pool, especially at nighttime. Whoa, where'd you come from? I mean, jumping itself is fine if you want to jump in front of a car or train, that's on you. But the pool is off limits at nighttime. No swimming at night. That's. That would be violent. That would be a violation, right? Hey, um... If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. <laughs> and then the person will be ripped apart by the exocells. What? You go that far? Yeah. Well, so far the sirens hasn't gone off, so no one needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. Um... Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Oh, yeah. Well, at the very least, no one alive. Nice to know that my suspicion's paying off. So they definitely stored his body in the pool. Because the pool, you can access the pool at night, but not the gym. I guess that's what the inner tube would have been used for, right? Hey, so Say he was killed and drowned, and then in order, just in case anyone came to the pool at night, put them up on the ceiling or something so that, you know, if they see the dead body... So, you know, it's a high possibility that they wouldn't see 
the dead body, because how many people look up? <laughs> hey, Suichi. Does the pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there's any other clues here. But... Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to the case. But you know... But you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why did they clean it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out there? Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. No, even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no... There's no pole or anything around here. You could use it to get... What? There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get the inner tube. Remember. Water level's low, so you couldn't grab the tube, even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know... Why'd it take forever for those words to appear? That was weird. Then why not just jump in and fish it out at hand? Because it was nighttime, they couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yeah, I suppose you think about it that way. You know. Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's check out the other places. All right. There's no time to waste, isn't that right, Psychic? You're right. Yep. Hmm. So there's no poles in here. Then where the fuck would you? Then where would you hide the body? <laughs> You tell me, did they just leave the body sitting in the pool <laughs> for the night? That would be weird. Alright. Gonna go talk to Maki. Oh wait, no, we gotta head to Ryoma's place. I forgot. I already forgot. I'm thinking Maki might know something, but... I mean... I'm thinking Maki might unintentionally know something. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but, you know. Where's, uh... Bug place? Oh. What the hell are you two doing? Where? Huh. What's going on here, guys? I was just gonna leave it be, but, uh... What's going on? Hmm. Man, what are you doing here, Kurumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced towards Maki. Hmm. So you're staying with Maki? Got it. Looks good. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a mess? Can I get a massage? May I? But of course, since you're here, Suichi, may I ask you a question? time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, um, right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. So... The last time I saw him was before then. I didn't see him all yesterday, actually. Then? Then you, then you are fine, Kaito. What's more important is, last time someone witnessed him alive... Hey! Last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive? That is correct. Gonto was the last one to see him alive around 8 p.m. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his... Ah, oh God. I'm gonna butcher this name. By using his Tsukuchi method. So Ryoma was still, was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, you saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonto. Hmm. In that case, Gonto's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes. We at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until 8 p.m. Okay. Maki! Hi, Maki. Hey. You're my favorite. Maki, what are you doing here? Um. Earlier you said that you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve the case on your own? Uh, um... That's completely different. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty harsh, but my psychic is working his ass off. Huh? Psychic? Got it. Yep, Switch is my psychic now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the psychic. So... The dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well... Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for investigation? You know... More importantly... 
I can just imagine Kaito just taking his hand and just putting it in front of her, like, more importantly. Have you been, where have you been the old time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? No. Because I love you. Because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no... You got... You, you got some hostages in there? I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. No, it's not what I'm trying to do. I just wanted to talk... I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey! It's true that you don't have... You don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because? Because all our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been here for this last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey! Then can I ask you this? Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gonta didn't stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. Did I say didn't stop by? He did stop by, but I managed to chase him off. All I did was tell him, If you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Hmm. So Gonta got scared of- <laughs> got scared off by that? Well, I guess she'll hold back against a girl. I asked- I asked- <laughs> Maki. Maki, you're unbelievable. As I listened to Maki's testimony, I question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? I mean, I highly doubt there's another human in there. Is there a dog in there? You got a dog in there, Maki? Is there a dog in there? It's got to be something alive in there. It's got to be something alive. In there. Is it there a dog? It has to be a dog. What reason does she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? Oh, look at Maki. Look at her. She's adorable. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Hey, so... But, if you remember anything, be sure to tell Suichi, okay? I believe in you. He's my psychic, you know? He's pretty good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, uh... In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But, no one else can verify the testimony. Might be a problem later. Maki, don't you go dying on me now, okay? I'll be very upset and mad. I'll be so mad. The only two I want to survive is Mew and Maki. Other than that, everyone can go. I'm prepared for it. Where the hell is his, uh... Oh, it's on the same floor. Got some tennis balls in here. The Ultimate Tennis Pro Lab, if I'm right then. The handcuffs that were in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? No. Nothing. Anyways, let's figure out the let's figure out the handcuff situation. We should take care of that problem first. Okay. Mm, there's a tennis racket there. Well, first things first, since no one can stop me. Shower room. Oh, that does not look good. First time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like the Ultimate Tennis Pros. And more like the Ultimate Prisoner's Lab. Hey, so... Do you think it was made that way on purpose? They remodeled the shower? The shower? <laughs> did they remodel the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. <sighs> Monokuma's got bad taste. We all... We already knew that. Hmm. Okay, this one's open. 
Oh, won't you look at that? There they are, the handcuffs. Um, look, Kyoto. Look, Kyoto. <laughs> Why'd I say that? I don't know. That's his name now. Hi, Kyoto. Look, look, Kaito. You know what? I was think. I don't know what I was thinking of. I was thinking of Kyoko for a moment, and then just fused it with Kaito. <laughs> look, Kaito. Hanko's hanging on the wall. Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Oh, wait, are they the same? Because I think so. Remember. See, one empty hook. Handcuffs we found must have came up here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Anything else in here? It's a pretty big stone sink. You can fill it up with a lot of water. And there's scratches on the thing. Okay, there's scratches on the sink. Highly doubt... I mean, scratches there might just be from something else. Highly doubt that he can make a mark on those. Okay, so... Tell me this is where he was drowned? What's this? Scratches on the stone, like something was scraping against it. You know what? He couldn't make claw marks on it, but his fucking handcuffs can freak the hell out. And Ryoma's a pretty small dude, you can just kind of toss him in there. Right, we made them. Scratch marks are clearly not natural. Must have been made by some kind of metal. This is interesting. Alright. Anything else? A window. Leading where? This window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. Could it be? There's that one window could see from the pool area. This might be it. I'm gonna open it just to check. Oh shit. Just as I suspected. Hmm. So could the inner tube been a, been used to lower him? The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Third floor is high up, but if they aimed well, they could reach the pool. But Monokuma said you can't go in the pool at night time, right? If anyone violates school regulations, campus wide siren will blare. And then the prisoner will be ripped apart by the exocells. Go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one needed to be ripped apart. Yet. Because that hasn't happened yet. Can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Well, at least no one alive. Why'd he say no one alive? Is that all right? I believe he was hinting that a dead person wouldn't be considered to be breaking the rules. Which means it's possible that a dead body was in the was in the gym or the pool at nighttime. You know. So there's a chance Rima was carried to the gym after he was killed. But but you know, there's no point carrying his body there if you can't even get in. Hmm. I don't know if it's safe to say there was no point. What if, originally, the plan was just to drown him and then put his dead body in the pool, floating with the inner tube? <laughs> and then, just leave it there for someone to find? But then, the culprit went, wait a minute, I can use the magic show. Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Make it harder. Huh? Hmm. Hey, so... Look, there's these weird scratches on the window frame. You're right. Yes. Yeah, as if something scraped against it. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym window frame. Those could be rope marks. I'm not sure if rope would leave a marking like that, but it could be rope marks. Positive, these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. The window frame is sturdy as well as Jim's window frame. Okay. Looks like it will hold, even with a lot of weight on it. You know what? Rope plus a lot of weight on it? Yeah. Suichi. Now you understand, right, Suichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazed I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue. Kaito Momota, it's all in a day's work for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. 
I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. Came here to confirm my suspicions about the handcuffs from the tank. But we found even more important clues than I suspected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be mere coincidence. Must be important evidence. Hey! Seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. Alright. Alright then. On to the next place. There's no point standing here. Okay. Right. Next place, like what? Where else could I possibly go? Hey, so So, where should we go? Whoa! As he came out of the shower room, Kaido tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up. The hell? Something caught my leg. That's uh, looks like a cable. Ah. Is this for the tennis net? Man, whoever let this here should have put that in the corner. Wait, the tennis net? Hmm. I see, so that's why the room felt odd. Should investigate that detail. Wait, what? Oh, shit! <laughs> they took the coil out of the tennis net. That's why it's all limp. Totally forgot about that. Hmm. The reason I thought this room felt out is because of the net. When I came here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But now, the cable's been removed. So, like someone took the cable off. Why would they do that? Hey! Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long the cable is. Hmm? No need, it's about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Ah. I was in the tennis club till mid-school, so I know how long the cable is. Uh, um... So, you were in the tennis club? That's right. That's right? It pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey! Did you know Ryoma from before? Never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know, I mean, these days there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to everybody. Jeez. And then, once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So, so what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Does something about it bother you? Is it the same length? Well, it's not the same length, but it's about the same length as the rope we found. No. No, nothing specific. I just wanted to check. Mm. Detectives got bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. Uh, um... What's that analogy? Yes! All evidence has been gathered. Yes, I am. Oh, My throat is killing me. You've been tired me. of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. He's not wrong. In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway! What? <laughs> that one I'm not sure of. The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why you look so down? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me. Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the cult. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? Or because you had a crush on Kaede, you weirdo? It's kind of a... It's kind of a... <laughs> even if you had a crush on Kaede, it's kind of a... Like... You barely knew the girl, <laughs> and you're doing all this? Listen up. Is that why you believe in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but I believe in you. If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in people I want to believe in. Shuichi! Shuichi, we're still young. Can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it! If you're not gonna get yourself in gear now, then when? 
Now's all you got. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I apologize that your name is covered by the uh <laughs> by the donation. Uh I would read your name out. I'm sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> hey Kaido, I know. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. It's my psychic. He's right. I just gotta do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm gonna survive. We're going to survive. Together. That's it! Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No. I want to live. I want to live long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. Alright. Time to meet up at the, uh, whatchamacallit? The statue, right? There we go. Let's get this over with. Everyone! Is everyone ready? <sighs> Not like we have a choice, right? <laughs> You're quick to understand. This is no Monokuma as you trained. What? We got nothing to worry about. Right, assholes? <laughs> She's like, fuck you guys! Figure out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course we don't need to worry. The town suspect is super obvious this time. Hey. Right, Amigo. How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate. You want you want me to Aikido chop your head off? Wait. It's not even Aikido anymore, is it? Either way. <laughs> not your version of Aikido, anyways. That's why it's called Neo. <laughs> this matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your argument until then. That's right. Yeah, let's put an end to this at the class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Mono statue, do your worst. I wonder who replaces the chalice that the mono statue's holding every time he has to break it. <laughs> so feminist with grace. <laughs> Why'd you say that? Why'd I say that? Why did you say that? <laughs> Was that in relation to something that happened? <laughs> the door appeared before us with pump. What pump? Pump? What? What? Get ready to pump you up. <laughs> As they're sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all step towards the door. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door... It started up again. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking. But I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt the trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves. The elevator came to a stop. But this wasn't the end. No. It was only just the beginning. Welcome! You've hopelessly arrived once again. Hmm? Did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into the building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. 
Actually, we're the ones who used the exocells to build the courtroom. But father just took all the credit. Wonderful. But I'm happy to be used as a slave by father. Ugh. What are you saying? He needs to really committing to this henchman bit. They are so cute. You guys are so cute that I can't help working with you. Can't help work you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate details in this courtroom, almost like it's for show. For show, huh? That's an interesting way of putting it. Are you showing this to the ultimate hunt, you fucking sadistic bastard? Mm -hmm. Is this just for show? Are you showing this to people outside? <laughs> Those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us, as in they're no longer with us. You know what I mean. What? In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. See, I, that's what I was assuming. But I'm like, even in the first game, there were people out there. Ding Russia. Uh, Dang in Russia. Why did I say that? Dang in Russia. <laughs> Dang around the three executions are so rare. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like I said I said it last time, right? I've only seen Kaede's execution, but um compared to like the other games, it's definitely way more sadistic. <laughs> it's kinda tough to swallow. In other words, you three are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> Then, the Clash Trial began. Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us, to get out of here with us. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is right here. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it's... I don't want to believe it at all. But... If this is where I found truth... Found? If this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. I will find the truth. To get out of here with everyone. Alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. You're damn right I want to save my game. That was a, that was a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh... <laughs> Keo's like a woman. He is a woman. <laughs> I am a woman. Nah, he's just a JoJo character. <laughs> he's one of the pillar men. He definitely would be one of the pillar men. All right, change difficulty. Are we still on mean? Sure. Like that will change anything. All right, let's see. We got some points. Cool and compose. Make sure it'll shake less. Effect. That will be. I would like that. Required three fragments. What? Oh, I don't have enough. Wait. Oh, you buy them with your with your lovey dovey fragments. So where are the ones that I already own? I know I own one that I wasn't able to equip last time, right? Yeah, upshift. Uh, increase the speed of the reticle. Is that the only one that I have? High tension. Will increase at a faster rate. Safety first removes time penalty for breaking non-erasable power of life and death. Makes it easier to push the opponent. Clear of mine. Increases the amount of letter cubes. Effective during psychic taxi. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> psychic taxi. Just a peek. Tire screen will light up more frequently during Hangman's Gambit version 3. 
1.0. First strike, keyword, first speaker argument will be shown from the start effect of... What the fuck? The keyword in the first speaker's... Oh. So it would give you like a handicap. Okay. So only all conversations except those. The radical on. Mind's eye reveals V points. Uh, I'll hold on to my points for now. I don't think I need anything crazy right now. with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, oh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I wish I can read your name, but I have the uh, the goal, <laughs> the goal kind of like you know what I'm gonna have to move that for the next stream. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna like put it up top, so I don't uh, so it doesn't ruin anything. But thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Now let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max trial under. I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. And who is that, Kokichi? Let's combine our power and work together, everyone! Um... The person who's most suspicious is... Now let me your energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be... Yeah! I'm in top form today! Tenko, why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk over me. Huh? I'm not interrupting you. Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males want to talk about is S-E. Wow. Himiko seems suspicious. Wow! <laughs> Come on, aren't you the one who put her into your cult? Out of everyone here. Hey! Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what Atua is telling me. She's like, friend? Bitch, I want to live. <laughs> like, he is what? using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. Screw Atua! That guy's got nothing on me! I'll protect Himiko! But it does point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She was the one performing the trick. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. Then what was it, Himiko? It was magic. Magic. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. You are so two-faced. Oh, God. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true! It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. But there's no trick. <laughs> that really was magic. Oh, welcome back, Manga. You know, maybe it really was magic. Oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Better listen to her, Himiko. Maki's talking. When Maki's talking, she means business. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute, tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. I don't believe that. I get that you want to defend her, but that might be a bit much. As I suspected. 
the others suspect Himiko. But I have my doubts. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. I'm the ultimate beta boy toy. It's up to me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. The culprit used the underwater escape hmm. to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Riona. After that, the time ran out. The tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Yeah, that's true. Ah, and he was eaten alive. Eaten to bone by piranhas. Savage way to go. Savage way to go. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny the way he said it. It's magic. I heard you the first time, Titless. No one cares. Wow. Unnecessary, Mew. Okay, I'm gonna throw the mono file at a whatchamacallit at Kokichi's statement. Mm -hmm. There we go. He was drowned. He just broke a plate? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that's bad. That makes me depressed. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. Now you're gonna have to go out and buy another plate. So it wasn't the piranhas then. He was drowned. Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news to me. Wow, Kokichi. You lying little brat! Telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow again. Alright, you know what? You know what? Hold up, hold up. I'm about to... <laughs> just in case anything else happens tonight, because fucking... The sub goal is blocking the fucking follower thing, and I can't read your names. And I feel so bad. You know what? Actually, here it is. Alright, here's the list of names. Got it? We have... I don't even know how to pronounce this. I'm so sorry if I butcher these names. Fr Friglities? Friglities? Fraglities? Thank you for the follow. Let's see. Now me, now me these nuts. Thank you. And Clawley. That's how you pronounce that, Clawley. I hope I hope I'm pronouncing these right. But thank you guys for the follow tonight. <laughs> now let me just quickly head over to OBS and just take this. I'm about to fucking ruin. I'm about to ruin my whole entire thing here. Right? Take this. I'm gonna throw this up here. Throw that there. So now the uh, alerts will appear up top. Alright. So what? Ryoma drowned, Himiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him. Right? No. Himiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they change places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. If that is the case, then when did he drown? When did Ryoma drown? It was obviously after nighttime, right? At the piranha drop before the show started. That's it. It's definitely that. Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. Agreed. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. Yeah, I pointed that out too. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. By that point, he had already joined the race. What the fuck, Kyo? Kyo's like, yes. Mm, by that point, <laughs> like. I gotta be so creepy that about his it. His body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank. Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank and then show it during the act. Ah, huh. so instead of, so it's okay. In my mind, I I was thinking like maybe at some point, put the body in the tank with the piranhas, and possibly it was already eaten, and they showed like a, a projection or something. But, 
What if they just simply dropped the body at this exact same time that the uh, piranhas fell? Probably using the timer because it's automated, right? Easier said than done. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Oh wait, Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Cause it's magic. It's magic. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? You no, know, maybe it really was magic. Shut up. <laughs> Maki, I love you. Himiko is committed to her act. But those who deal in dreams are off liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. Wow, Smoogie. And we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. He's like, he's gotta take his frustration out somewhere, so that's why mom's there to just take the beating. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. Then let's work together to reveal the secrets behind Himiko's trick! So, not real magic? No, it was real magic. Magic. What the magic. fuck? Magic. Magic. Oh no! It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! Aren't incantations usually more, um... Complicated than that? Listen, I played... I played Court's Party. I know what a seance look like. I know how bad that can go. We gotta continue Court's Party this Halloween. We gotta do that. Anyways... <laughs> anyways, we first need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. If we can't figure that out, this case is going nowhere. For those who want to see my course party playthroughs, they are on YouTube. <laughs> How did Himiko escape the water tank? Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Mm -hmm. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Mm -hmm. Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Yes. It must be real magic! Yeah! Real escape magic! Maybe there were two Himikos. And one of them was Sumugi in disguise. She can't do that. Hey, what costumes are disguises? A, her proportions are not the same. And B, she gets the Cospox. Okay. How did Himiko escape the water tank trick? About this thing. Maybe she okay, just so it's the plane. The plane. Yeah, the pain. Pan. Not mechanism. Covering the tank was certain. What about that square? Maybe the tank had a secret. There we go. What? What does that prove? What do you mean? What does that prove? Wouldn't that be the hatch? Just threw the idea out there. No need to agree with me. Just assume the trick was dangerous. Would have had some sort of escape hatch. Uh. Huh? All right, let's see. Hold up. What the fuck just happened? Square glass pane that was at the bottom of the piranha tank where Ryoma's body has appeared. Uh, okay. That staircase. Piranha tank. For the magic show, made of wood. Let's see. Hmm. Sorry. What? What are our? What are our choices? Water tank trick. Gonto, cram piranhas, handcuffs. Got it, got it, got it. Wrong no button. Okay. Water tank trick, hatch near- Oh, well, fuck. Well, fuck me! There you go. I agree! See? You're wrong, too. You said it was the square glass pane. I also said it was the square glass pane, but that's wrong, because that piece of evidence doesn't talk about it being an escape hatch, it just talks about it being a square glass pane. 
you got to choose the fucking water trick. <laughs> the wa uh, the water trick evidence cuz that one talks about the hatch. I see. So it did have one. Don't worry, I was wrong too, right? I still I still am going to go on record saying that Danganronpa has a better evidence system than fucking Phoenix Wright cuz even though even though there's no reason why glass pane shouldn't work um at least it told me exactly why it was wrong because that piece of evidence didn't have what i want on it so i'm looking at you phoenix right take notes that's right i discovered a similar tank in himiko's lab there was a panel on the side that could open that was her escape mind over strength oh what the fuck what are you doing tenko It's all wrong, Shuichi. Your logic is wrong. Hmm? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> and you don't even know why you're wrong either. Typical degenerate male. Well, why don't you just woman explain it to me then? <laughs> I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel! All right. Grand Piranha's tank. The side of the tank being open. I forgot how to control this already. Doesn't have anything what? to do with Is it the X button? Escape. Okay, yeah. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And now I'm gonna punch you. How was that blade lock? I was clearly in the winning there. Wait a second. Before you punch me. What makes you so sure she didn't? Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, Made my mistake. I was a little too preempted there. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. Wait, that be okay. I was about to say, is that it? The whole trick would be ruined. With that out of the way, I'm gonna punch you. Oh. Huh. Cran piranhas. Let's see. Oh, because it was behind the curtains. There we go. I'll Stupid. Your words. Stupid me. Pretty simple. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Meaning... The water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Kimiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance. What? Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase also has an escape hatch, one facing away from us. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. Okay. However, that person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. Wait, I'm a little confused here. What? Like, I'm not confused at their explanation. I'm confused at... Stairs themselves... Oh, the stairs themselves were not wet. Oh. 
You see like the shadowy part on the stairs? Like, in my mind, I, I just went like, that's damp. That's a damp area. There we go. That's just the only thing that confused me. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! <laughs> Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Does she have a change of clothes? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Oh. Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. So I noticed her clothes not being wet, and honestly, I just never said anything because in my mind I was like, eh, it's a video game. Can't expect them to get it 100% all the time, right? Didn't think they would actually bring it up. No magic had nothing to do with it. Her clothes weren't wet. She had to change her clothes, right? Yeah. That's it. Is that what the rope was for? It's because she changed her uniform. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. Aw, oh, you're breaking you're breaking her little imagination. Ah, why would you say that? I see. She had a towel too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair, but her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet, because her body repels water! Huh? Like a duck? Like a duck? What? What the fuck are you talking about? Himiko, come on, give it up already. Do ducks like, do their, are their feath, do their feathers repel water? I don't think so. Do they? Fine. You win. Oh, you broke a little innocent girl's heart. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. So I was correct. This is how you create a supervillain. But, but that doesn't mean I use them. I didn't need them. Because I used my magic. Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. But then Himiko would have saw it. But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? Mew, you are a charm. That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That's impossible, though, because Gonta didn't see anything. That way, she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. If that was the case, then she would have to take Ryoma out to get in, and then Gonta would have seen Ryoma. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? Uh, Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us, so why are you accusing her? You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. And then you won't be able to start your cult. 
Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. Wow. What? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. Let's cut to the future part where she becomes a murderer. <laughs> I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. Tenko, I'm not sure whether to uh, praise you or be a little scared. Have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Okay. And simply switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Gonta could have seen when it. When the tank was covered with a curtain. Okay. So basically, no one saw anything. And that's where you use Gonta's thing. So I didn't yeah. Do it, I swear. Ryoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. Why is the voting Good tablet shaped like a Vita? Artist. She's not lying. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have doggy lips. All right. I just wanted to see the rest of that play out. All right. You know, for mean difficulty is kind of on the easy side. Give me a little bit of a challenge here. Are you telling me you saw? No one could have seen. So basically, no one. There you go. I didn't even have to check the evidence. My gut feeling. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, it's perfect. No, that's actually a great clue. Because if Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Himiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? It's, it's too much of a... Too much of a tight squeeze, you yeah. know? She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. For the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational, too. Then... Yoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! <laughs> so extreme. I love her. Alright, where's Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but where? Alright, now let's stop the bait. Handcuffs, square glass, piranha tank. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? See, my original theory is Piranha really Tank, stairs, was it? but they could have just all, dangled there it. Was only enough space for Himiko. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, mm -hmm. then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. All right, you're crazy. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. See, that's what I'm but saying. If the body and piranhas were separated. Exactly. Then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? But well, what would do that? Can you... Wait a minute. 
Wait, hold up. Wait, she said, oh, holy shit. I just figured it out. I think Where I figured it out at least. So, Angie said After all, there was only enough that space the fish looked get. cramped in there. What if they were cramped well, because the glass the uh, pane was just pushing them up and Ryoma was, was behind the, the pane? From there. Then it would be and then when they drop, it all dropped at the same time, leaving the glass pane the in the tank. In the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Because its density would just have it sink Impossible. to the floor. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas That's how you save the body. That's how you save the body from getting eaten. But if the body and piranhas were <laughs> Hell yeah. Feels hypothesis is correct. The body and the piranhas God. are separated. I'm so fucking I feel stupid that I didn't figure that out sooner. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. <laughs> Just as I thought. Ah, using there the you go. As a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. See, Maki went along the lines of like, you need some really crazy special effects for that, and if we were going with like a movie projector type deal, it still wouldn't make sense where the blood would come from, and that's why I was so stuck on that. God damn it. Then that means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time! And you wouldn't be able to see it from any other angle, because all the other angles is covered with wood, besides the front placing uh front placing besides the front which is the only place that has glass in it and since all the piranhas are cramped and the water's pretty murky probably due to the dead body being there for a while visibility would definitely be cut by a lot so Rioma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas Gonta knew it what is it Gonta Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall that's why Gonta see something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta see some big thing fall into water tank with them. All right, whoever ends up being the culprit. That's some sadistic type shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and shadowy shape inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? No. Now that Gonta think about it, Gonta maybe see Ryoma's body. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. The water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. A certain something? Huh? The hell are you guys talking about? I thought it was covered by wood around the. We all agree edges. that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Huh? How could you hide a body like that? How is the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Hmm. Marked window frame, Gonta's account, Kokichi's, piece of fabric, cool rules, witness, Maki alone, scratches. Is it just the piranhas being cramped? I mean, like that's what I was. This is it. Yeah, that's where I was 
Do we really need to explain this? The piranhas were obscuring the body. I, I literally just explained this. <laughs> huh? The piranhas? That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? I noticed that right as the show started, I feel like there were more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. Well, they do now. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? So they're all just squished together. The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was the lid from the piranha tank. It was really easy to detach that lid, so it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. I mean, it is a pretty good detail, because, I mean, if Himiko can lift it up, anybody can, right? Even weak-ass Kibo. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! This much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you. Mm, really? Yeah, because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better! That's wonderful news, Himiko! Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Angie! You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now! Atua is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. <laughs> because you all doubted him. You and your false god. What a petty ass god! <laughs> god no, of pettiness. It's okay. It's my type of god. You shouldn't be mad at Angie. You should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Oh, Himiko! Bless your sweet, kind heart. That's what Atua said anyway. This is how a cult starts. What? It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Himiko's still brainwashed! But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Great, now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunk out of tard school or something? Nuh uh, not everyone. <laughs> what the fuck? We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi. Yet. Kokichi, he's like, nuh uh. <laughs> eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't <gasps> understand. So let me explain. Whoa. Who you calling a dumb pig? If there's this much evidence, then there's the no fuck, mistake. Kokichi? The body was hidden in the piranha tank. Kokichi has the same aggression as like, as just a gay man, right? Maybe he is gay. Kokichi, you gay? I wouldn't put it past you. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set the scene up. During nighttime. Come on, damn it. Fuck you, Kokichi. Oh no! Ah, my credibility. Let's see. Before nighttime? I don't think it would be before nighttime. So, yeah, definitely not my Before nighttime? Really? Well uh Huh? Okay. That's it! It was done yesterday, before nighttime. Ding, ding, ding! 
Bing, the ultimate detective, gets it right again. See, I thought it would be around like 11, which is after nighttime. Wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Fuck, I should have. Damn it. Piranha Tank was in the gym, so it had to be before nighttime. Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Wow. The bitchlet! First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? What? No, she means the alarm. After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was... <laughs> Impossible! Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. You really just digging into her. <laughs> so the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. Right? I assume this is what we're talking about. Uh, was Ryoma present at the in-second meet and greet? No, Ryoma wasn't present. I don't believe anyone that gone to catch in had seen Ryoma. Damn it! Everyone's staring at me. Hmm. What's the question am I trying to answer? What clue helped determine when Ryoma was killed? Oh, shit. Okay, well, that definitely wouldn't. Hmm. Immediately after, dorms entered. A piece of fabric that was floating in the pool. Either that, or, uh... A good amount of water into it. Small scratches. I'm trying to see if I can find something a little bit more concrete. I don't think that would help. We're looking for the time of death, right? Can I begin to imagine how fit? Yeah, exactly. I was wrong. What clues help determine when Ryo most killed? What about his? Wait, when is Monopad have the time? Of Hold up. Where's his belongings? Do we not have his belongings? Was that not part of the evidence? Guard. Yes, bro. Cause of death. Gym discovered. Do we really not have his belongings? Am I fucking serious right now? Are you serious right now, guys? I assume that, like, his monopad would be stuck on a certain time. See, during the magic shell, on a glass, a free window. What? Yeah, I saw a suspicious woman, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. I was wrong. All right, now I'm just gonna. Now I'm just gonna sit here and actually just read this shit. I'm just trying to spitball it here, but fucking... God. I'm taking on a shower room. Da -da -da -da. Appeared, but it definitely not gonna help. Not gonna help. In distance, for instance, from the window, fence to the pool. Entering the pool is prohibited during nighttime. Ryoma was going to. This is it. There we go. If we can find out who last saw Ryoma alive, 
We can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? See, I was going with the thought process of all of us was here during the fucking nighttime shit, so it couldn't be any of us, but it's like, now let's go see who were the last people who saw him. Yes, Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so... Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began... Then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. Okay. All right. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, Mew, and also Maki. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. Why'd you say Maki like that? <laughs> She's like, and also Maki. <laughs> like... I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Oh, beautiful! Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Huh? But I was only there for about five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? It's too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Fuck that noise! <laughs> but Mew... You don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is! Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, you? The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? No, it can't. I just love her fucking stare. She's like, motherfucker. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. All right. Okay. I resent what? that. My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. Kind of does. Anyway, Along with the I'm fucked up no hairstyle. Sport. The culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. Because apparently all celebrities need a fucked up hairstyle. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Oh wait, I remember now. I do have an alibi. You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No I'm not way the I'm the culprit! Everybody's talking at once! Oh no, mass panic debate, it's gonna start. That's what you're thinking. Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. Let me give you another tutorial. Why the fuck do I need another one? Okay, this time around, have loud voice dialogue. What? So one of your opponents shouts their opponent, Their opinions out loud. That blocks, blocks out everyone else's argument. Oh shit. You can't refute it. Oh no, what do you do then? Luckily, it's just like white noise, so just silence that shit. After that, all the arguments will be audible again. Okay. I was running away from Gonta. What is your alibi? Hiding in the classroom. When I was running from I even tried hiding in the girls' bathroom. 
Okay. Oh my god, guys. Shut the oh, fuck up. Holy oh, shit. No, what? Shut up. I got nothing out of that. <laughs> I couldn't focus. Okay, hold up. I saw two. Two things I couldn't refute. But I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying to pay attention to everything else. Then right before night time, I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. Did not stay at the gym. What was the other one? Shit. I was running away from Gonta. What is your alibi? Tried hiding in the classroom. I even tried hiding in the girls' bathroom. Things got a little heated. Girls' bathroom. Why the fuck would that help? I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? What? No, in my own room. Oh, I was so fucking confused. I was so confused. <laughs> I was confused. I was confused. Like when he says, are you sure you didn't stay in the gym? I was thinking of, um... I thought he was talking to fucking Kaito for a moment. I was running away from but he's talking to uh, Kurumi. There we go. I heard it. <laughs> no, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonto's lab, so it was right around nine. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She just kept talking and finally let me go around 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? Well, only the first half was a lecture. Then we played tag. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. and they were together until nighttime. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Jackass. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. Damn. Even the robot don't give a fuck no more. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes, transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. That's a good point, Maki. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mio, Kaito, and Maki! Ah, you're including me too? Aww. But I can't hate you, Mew. one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Which is? Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. Wouldn't it be Mew? One person we can eliminate. 
Uh, must be talking about the figure he saw. Yep, it's Mio. According to what we know, the figure he saw must have been. That's it. Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? What? Mew? Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Booyah! Suck it, nerds! Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Something odd. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walking around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? I have two possibilities for that. Either one, some weird invention went wrong, or two, somehow she got high off her fucking mind and just lost it. Who else could it be but the horny exhibitionist Mew? We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear, even me! Oh, come on, I don't need to see that. That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Well, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face got red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. Your face got hot. You mean we're hot on her tail, right? No? She used her, uh, what she called it? Secret woman weapon? Oh, uh, well. I had to use my secret woman weapon. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? I wish I was Gonta. What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! So you're lying! Why would you actually do it? Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads, because he got super embarrassed! Mew was in her underwear, and... Gonta got weird feeling. Gonta? I... High five, man. So, Gonta ran away. Well, when he got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. Don't need to know that. And I mean all the time. Definitely don't need to know that. So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Ah! Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Kibo wouldn't understand because he doesn't have a penis. Yep, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. I feel like we're going to need to recall these events again. Alibis for yesterday. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Any, mini, mani, mo. Guess the culprit's by it. Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. And the other part inside me definitely doesn't want to accuse Maki. I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I'll trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. What the fuck are you about to do? What? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit, right? Where's the- where's the videos? Where's the motive videos, by the way? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is this effective method? We watch videos? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. 
Yeah? Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. That is the stupidest idea you ever had in your life, Kogichi. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? Exactly. And... You, you just be an asshole. Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. You're sadistic. So let's look at the oh shit, I did not mean to skip when that. When we find a contradiction. Wait. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun! Ew, I don't like the way he said that. <laughs> that's weird. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit! Yep, I totes agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot debate to smoke out the liar. And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Oh Our shit! Our first topic is this. Ta-da! The Cubs pad. Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. So, it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. How the fuck did he take it before us? Uh, you know what? I went to... Where did I go first? Where did I go first? Was it Ryoma's room that I went to first? I think it was. I think it was. But wasn't he in the gym the whole entire time we were investigating? And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! One of these two had it? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this Moda video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone! Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Kaito's. Motive video that Ryoma had. Was it Kaito or Monkey's? I should know the answer. <laughs> well, it can't be Kaito's. I had Kaito's. So. It would be Monkey's. That's it. It was Monkey's motive video, right? Wow. How did you ever guess? You're an asshole. Ooh, I know, I know! It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Cool. 
Kokichi, did you even see the video? Or are you just being an asshole? Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Answer simply yes. Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to... Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Which means... Kaido, wait! Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... Maki isn't a culprit either! What? Huh? What? Even Kokichi's speechless. Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. I mean, listen. He's betting our lives on a hunch, but Kokichi's the one sitting here fucking around. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. Damn idiot! Dan's idiot! Hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. What? <laughs> and then a wet floor sign just appears near Maki. You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. <laughs> he is an idiot. In the end, the only but thing he's that our is what idiot. I believe, right? Whether I believe or not, whether I want to believe or not, that's the only thing that matters. So you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. But I totally get where he's coming from, because I want to believe in Himiko too. Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot! It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> my feelings! <laughs> it's true. It's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the culprit. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings, too. We're totally gonna make out after this. I'll believe in Maki as well. What? I always believed in Maki. Maki, if you ever become a killer or get killed, I will be very sad. That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. And then two floors wet signs appear in Naramaki. You two? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. 
How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Damn, she's getting into the business. Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. It's not like I like him or anything. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. Ah, shit. What? With Ryoma? At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right! Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. Pretty convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? Because she's awesome. <laughs> it's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. What's that? A lie? Did Maki lie to us? She's not. I know she's not lying. It's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Intermission! Everybody go get a sandwich, do your taxes. Use the bathroom, do your taxes, your taxes, and do your taxes. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take all